Hello, my name is Leah, and I'm here with Sasha, Soil's Executive Director. We're here to talk with you about Soil's social business that provides urban sanitation services in Haiti. Soil is a Haitian nonprofit, and every aspect of our service model design and technologies are open access and designed to be replicated. Haiti has the highest diarrheal incidence rate in the world, a direct consequence of lacking sanitation access. Over the past five years, Soil has developed a transformative social business providing local optimal urban sanitation services. We are proud that our customer approved service is already the most cost effective solution available for providing safely managed sanitation in Haiti's urban context. With the support of GSBI, we have developed a clear vision for how we can reduce our unit costs by over 50%, grow our service, and ultimately leverage public sector financing to replace reliance on external donors. By combining our innovative technologies and service model with a catalytic approach to financial sustainability, we believe this work serves as a model for how to support the national scale-up of safely managed sanitation in urban Haiti and in similar urban environments globally. Soil provides a full-cycle, safely managed sanitation service, starting with an in-home toilet. This is a container-based toilet which features a removable 5-gallon container to capture solid wastes. Every week, Soil employees collect the containers of solid waste and deliver clean, empty containers as well as carbon cover material used for flushing. These filled containers are then transported to a soil composting facility for safe treatment. We treat 100% of the waste from our toilets, effectively removing all pathogens. Treated wastes are then transformed into compost in a process that respects World Health Organization standards and this compost is used to support agriculture and reforestation in Haiti. Taking this full cycle approach allows us to capture revenues at both ends of the service chain, collecting monthly user fees from households accessing the service and one-time charges for compost sales. Soil's primary market is urban Haitian households without access to improved sanitation, and we're currently focused on Cap Haitian, Haiti's second largest city. Of the 47,000 total households in Cap Haitian, only 948 or those served by soil have access to safely managed sanitation. With our service, we are able to reach people who previously had no affordable or viable sanitation solutions avoid available to them because of the lack of appropriate technologies and service models. Globally, there are over 700 million people living in urban communities who lack access to sanitation that we believe could directly benefit from a service like soils. This is in part because our solution is uniquely cost effective we use simple, low-cost technologies and ecological processes to keep our costs to a minimum. We are conservatively on track to have a sanitation solution with a net public sector cost of less than $14 per toilet per month by 2025. In comparison, if there were sewers in Haiti, the public sector cost is estimated to be in the range of $28 per toilet per month. But it's the startup cost difference that is most startling. We need a, a 2.4 million CapEx investment to ensure full capital cost for scale, in comparison, it is estimated that the startup cost for sewers could be higher than $2 billion, and there's unfortunately no funding of this level anywhere in sight for Haiti. Also, sewers require steady supplies of water and electricity, which are often unavailable in the context in which soil works. Given these challenges, when we started this work, there were no sanitation solution anywhere in Haiti that provided a toilet and safe waste treatment, and we are proud to have created a solution that is the best option out there. Our service provides safely managed sanitation that ensures full waste treatment, meeting the UN Sustainable Development Goal and keeping water supplies pathogen free. Our solution is also affordable both to our customers and the public sector, and it is user approved, having been built through an iterative process incorporating user feedback at every step. Our circular economy model for sanitation provision reduces greenhouse gas emissions compared to traditional sanitation technologies, and it generates compost for soil restoration. This helps mitigate and improve resiliency to climate change. Additionally, in rapidly growing urban communities, soil solution is the only viable option to solving the sanitation crisis and that we can rapidly deploy to reach climate vulnerable frontline neighborhoods that have minimal infrastructure and contested land tenure. This is critical as more than 60 million people around the world are moving to cities each year, often to these rapidly growing urban settlements. And we've previously had no solution that works in these contexts. Over the past several years, we have built a technology and service model that is safe and user approved. We have a CRM platform and financial system that enables accurate and simple data collection and reports. We have an engaged leadership and an experienced team. Also, we have the positive brand recognition in Haiti with the government and our target market that means we're poised for growth. 
For people living in Capetian who want or need a functional toilet, our service provides affordable, safe, and high-quality in-home sanitation access. And we conservatively project that we can cut total costs in more than half by leveraging economies of scale from growth, optimizing transportation routes and vehicles, increasing customer density, and implementing other cost-saving changes to the service. Throughout this, we plan to keep our prices stable, even through projected devaluation of the Haitian good, to keep our toilets affordable to our users. Ultimately, with your support, we can cut our net donor costs from less than $35 per toilet per month to less than $14. In comparison, in Santa Clara, Households are paying $42 per month for their sewer service, and that's just the user fee, not the public sector capital cost or the full operating cost. Soil has grant funding secured for several strategic initiatives designed to help us achieve these goals, and we are now working on restructuring and implementing human resource changes that reduce organizational complexity, improve management, and improve team capacity and morale. And we are continuing to focus attention on retaining satisfied customers and reducing churn, we are increasing marketing to speed our rate of customer acquisition, while we were also maintaining focus on building the government relationships we need to secure a long-term public contract that can ultimately replace donations and grants to sustainably provide this service. We will also invest in further R&D to continue to improve our core service and explore new products and services designed to support further net margin uplift. We are now poised to show how to sustainably scale up sanitation and we believe this is an exciting and critical point to invest in this work to help achieve large and lasting impact. We ask that you help us grow this service by making a monthly donation of $35 to Soil. Your donation will cover the cost of sanitation for an entire family. As we achieve our cost reduction targets, the impact of that same monthly donation will ultimately enable us to reach 15 people with in-home sanitation services, while also helping Soil grow a revolutionary ecological service that is creating jobs and economic development in Haiti, while also contributing to solving the global sanitation crisis. I will now close with a quote from one of our beneficiaries. Naderj has six children, and she scrapes together her monthly service fee every month so that her children can have a toilet in their home. When I asked Naderj what she thought of the service, she said, before there were toilets like this, the streets were full of waste. Now our situation is changing as more and more people are signing up for soil service. Someday everyone will have a toilet like this and our community will be clean. Soil is fighting to ensure that more people like Naderj and her family can have access to affordable, dignified sanitation, and we won't stop until we've achieved it. Thank you so much for your time.